Adami has just released a potentially game ruining update. Let's talk about it. For those of you who don't know, Adami has just introduced an age up potion. Now, for a long time, players have been asking for a way to make grinding or aging our pets easier. People in the Adami community have actually recommended that they add some sort of age up potion in the past. Now, if you've ever heard of a game like Row Pets, a game similar to Adopt Me, they actually have had age up potions in their game for a while. Every single day, they have daily playtime rewards similar to games like Pet Simulator. X, where you can earn up to three age potions per day. The perk of this is that you can actually raise a regular pet at the same time as you're grinding for these potions. To show you an example of how these work, I'm actually going to unlock one of my age up potions and click it to feed it to my pet to show you that it actually ages it up one full level. They even have a fully age up potion which will age a pet all the way from newborn to fully grown. To show you this brand new turtle with absolutely no tasks on it, we feed it an age up potion and it's all the way to its next stage. Now we all know that Adopt Me sometimes does a double aging or double bucks weekend, but there are a lot of us who have been wanting the ability to have two times aging all the time. And if you guys didn't know this, Adopt Me actually gives two times aging to all the accounts of its influencers. That means that influencers like Sopo Squad Gaming that have five people in it have five different accounts that have double aging all the time. Now, I wouldn't particularly have an issue with this if this was available to everybody else. Adopt Me could put a double aging pass as a game pass. I'm sure a lot of us would be willing to pay any amount of of Robux to have double aging all the time. My biggest issue with this is the fact that it's not available for the normal player to be able to achieve double aging. I think it's fine to give it to your influencers for free, but you should let the average player have the ability to obtain it as well. Now this brings us to the age up potion. So what exactly does it do and how do you guys obtain it? There are three options to choose from. Option number one is a fully grown normal pet like this little bat right here. As you can see, this is just a regularly full grown pet. Option number two is a luminous pet like Sprinkles. As you can see sprinkles is luminous which means he is a fully grown neon pet the last option is a mega neon pet obviously mega neons it's just completely fully grown as soon as you make it mega as you guys can see there is a little bar above sprinkles head that has a number beside it right now i have a level three friendship with sprinkles and that is how i was able to obtain three age up potions each friendship level on your pet takes 30 tasks to complete and once you complete 30 tasks you get the age up potion the age up potion is equivalent to the 30 tasks no more no less using various online online resources where people have given us an accurate or closely accurate understanding of how many tasks it takes to make certain pets neon, full grown, mega neon, we're able to determine just how much it could help a pet like a common pet. So by the looks of it, it looks like one age up potion could take a common pet from newborn all the way to teen. It could take a legendary like halfway through junior. And with two age up potions, you can basically skip the entire post teen phase of a legendary pet. Now I'm sure you guys are wondering why this is such a bad thing. Well, for starters, there are players who use auto clicker programs to auto grind or auto farm AFK in Adopt Me. So if people are able to farm aging, that means that they'll be able to farm the aging potion. This means by the time that the next newest pet in Adopt Me comes out, people will be able to make the neons and mega neons of it within minutes, if not seconds. Over time, new pets have already begun to lose value because Adopt Me, in a way, has been kind of pay to win in the sense that if you have Robux, you can obtain the newest pet very easily. Even if it costs bucks, those are obtainable through Robux too or if it's just Robux, you just spam by the pet, use one of those AFK farming methods, have a ton of potions ready, and boom, you have the newest Mega Neon pet in Adopt Me within 60 seconds. It used to be a flex to be able to make the newest pet Mega super fast. You would get crazy offers like Bat Dragons, Kangaroos, even get offered Shadow Dragons. But if anyone is gonna be able to have the ability to make the newest pet Neon or Mega, that means nobody will be offering those old higher tier items, which will mean newest players have no chance of catching up. Even for me, making the newest neons with an hour of updates with the help of our pet raising team, I was not able to get the best offers for pets. Everybody knows that within the first day of making a neon pet, there will be thousands of them in Adopt Me, so it would be pointless of them to offer their super high tier items, knowing that they can easily make this pet or get it with just in a couple days. Now the age of potions make this worse because we're going to see people making the newest neons of pets within the first minute of updates releasing. They'll just be like, poof, brand new neon pet within 30 seconds. People will not want to offer for a pet that anybody could just make so quickly. It makes it completely lose value. Another huge issue with this is it promotes a brand new type of scam. Players will try to entice you that they will age up your pets with the age up potions if you trust trade them. How would this work exactly? A player could convince you to trade away a newborn pet or a pet that you don't want to spend time raising. Convince you that they're going to raise it for you if you just trust trade it to them. They'll take your pet and just like that, they left the game. I did ask on Twitter if you guys think that this is a game ruiner or a game changer. 
changer. A lot of people may think that it's a game changer. I see a lot of positive reviews. People who don't see any harm in the moment. Well, that's the issue. Like I said, you guys, by the time the next update comes out, you will see the repercussions of what this age up potion has done to the economy in Adami, which is already struggling. Now, my question for you guys is how do you think Adami can fix this? Now, I do have a few ideas myself, but make sure you subscribe and come back for the next video if you want to know how I think we can save Adopt Me.